Charles Sumner was a U.S. representative and politician born on January 6, 1811 in Boston, Massachusetts. He was known for his deep commitment to the cause of civil rights and emerged as an anti-slavery leader in the late 1840s. He also became active in political protests against Texas's annexation and the Mexican War. In 1848, he joined with other disenchanted Whigs and Democrats to form the Free Soil Party, which opposed the extension of slavery into newly acquired territories. Senator Sumner, may I talk with you in my office immediately? One moment, please. Is this about the Trent Affair and the Emancipation? Yes, it is, Charles. Well, Mr. President, if you had done your duty earlier in the slavery matter, you would not have this trouble on you. Now you have no friends, or the country has none, because it has no policy upon slavery. Mr. Sumner, the only difference between you and me on this subject is a month or six weeks in time. Charles Sumner was familiar with struggle. His twin sister died at age 21, and he was the oldest of nine children. He was a social outcast among his peers and poured himself into books, teaching himself Latin. He also struggled at Harvard because he was bad at math. Later on, Sumner got divorced by his you. wife, Alice Hoover Sumner. First, I'd like to start off with Stephen Douglas of Illinois. He's a brutal, vulgar man without delicacy or scholarship who looks as if he needs clean linen and should be put under a shower bath. <clears throat> a noisome squat who does not deserve to be an American senator. Now on to Andrew Butler, who seems like he cannot be president today, probably off with his mistress, slavery, who though ugly to others, is always lovely to him. He touches nothing, which he does not disfigure with error, sometimes a principle, sometimes a fact. He cannot open his mouth, but out there flies a blunder. And in the name of the Heavenly Father, whose service is perfect freedom, I make this last appeal. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Keith. I would like to discuss proper dueling etiquette with you. Well, it depends on who you will be dueling with, Mr. Brooks. I planned on dueling Senator Sumner because of the insulting words he said about my cousin, Senator Butler. Well, Mr. Brooks, dueling is only proper if it's done between gentlemen of the equal social standings, and that Sumner was no better than a drunkard due to supposedly coarse language he used during his speech. Well, since Sumner is no gentleman, he doesn't deserve honorable treatment. He deserves to be beaten by a cane in the public setting. Mr. Sumner, I have read your speech over twice carefully. It is a libel on South Carolina and Mr. Butler, who is a relative of mine. On March 11, 1874, at the age of 63 in Washington, D.C., Charles Sumner dies of a heart attack. His burial grounds are at the Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs>